two London sides absolutely steeped in tradition and when they meet something significant tends to occur stay with us live coverage coming up of Arsenal versus Chelsea from North London And this is the scene here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. And I'm delighted to be able to report that it's a perfect day weather-wise. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Arsenal taking on Chelsea. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. It's had absolutely everything. Drama at both ends of the table, spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment too. The players need to finish the season off strongly. We're looking forward to a great game here. The atmosphere is fantastic. And the pass could do damage. Couldn't quite hang on. And the keeper has custody of the ball, but just a few seconds beforehand, he had a big save to make. Well, keep hold of it. Have a breather, because that first save deserves us all to look at him and clap. And it's a quality pass. Ceballos. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Blistering shot. 1-0 then. Moses. Here's Kovacic. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, they were possessing the ball well, but now they've lost it. Awa. Now with Pepe. Promising sequence. Bayerin. Teammate available. Can they put it away? And that is offside. Ceballos. And now William coming into it. Havertz. And a goal has been scored at the King Power Stadium. Alan McAdally will reveal all. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. And he's in the clear. Well, it's gone in. A goal for Chelsea, who now are level. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Oh, he's given the ball away. Moses. And they are on the move again. Mateo Kovacic. Conte now. Here's Kovacic. Crucial block from David Luiz. And Kai Havertz. Must take the lead here. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. And news of a goal at Molyneux. Alan McAnally with the details. Alan. It's a goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. A well-hit shot that came back off the far post and unfortunately for the keeper, hit him in the back of the head and went in. 24 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Wonderful chance. But it can't get all the way through. But it's always a nice feeling as a manager when you rack up the victories. 50, in his case, already for his career. Wow, that's a pretty decent record, isn't it, Derek? I really like the style of him. His football language is one that I understand. Very, very clear with his vision of the game. Well done. It's a controlled Aubameyang run. Credit to them for winning back possession. 
Mateo Kovacic. I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Old Trafford. Who has scored that goal? Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 32 minutes played. 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Hector Bellerin. Pepe. Crossing possibilities. And clears the danger. Moses. Conte. Moses. Timo Werner. Havertz. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Kovacic. Werner. Moses. Will he play it in? Havertz. Now Conte. Kovacic! Werner. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Nicola Pepe. It's with Danny Ceballos. And we will have just one additional minute. And in with a real chance. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. The first half here comes to an end. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Aspili Quetta. Werner. And he read it well defensively. Danny Ceballos. And plenty of room in the wide area. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Good defending to prevent the chance. Partey. William. And intercepted it. Well, it has been a very big story on TV, in the newspapers and on the internet. Antonio Rudiger could be on his way to Borussia Dortmund late. Well, Derek, there's nothing like a transfer rumour to liven a dressing room up. Puts a spring in the step of the players, especially if you hear he plays in your position. Moses. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it fizzled out. Awar. Thomas now. Danny Ceballos. Well, can they be creative from here? Partey. Here's William. Very comfortable when in possession. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, he stepped up to the plate to get that goal to put his team on equal terms. Can he produce a winner in this second half? Let's find out. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Partey has lost it. Werner. Chance to put them in front. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Played into the centre of the box. And putting his body on the line. Chelsea's corner as they try to take the lead here. Over it comes. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And good pressure high up the pitch. Werner. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Well, Derek, the tactics for both sides are simple. Attack. 
They're both trying to win the game, creating chances. It's a brilliant game. And crossing towards the far post. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. And news of a goal at Molyneux. Alan McAnally with the details. Alan. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 73 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Ziyech. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, good use of the ball. Kovacic! Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Thomas. Danny Ceballos. Promising looking ball. Awar. He takes aim. Good defending to prevent the chance. And clears the danger. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. And now William coming into it. Mateo Kovacic. I believe there's been a goal in the Wolves game. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a second goal for Manchester City. Seven minutes remain. 2 1. Alan McAdally keeping us right up to date. Quick thinking defensively. Aspili Quetta. They've lost it. And five minutes to go. Mateo Kovacic. And Chelsea still knocking on the door in the closing minutes. Can they find a winner? This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Kieran Tierney. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. And there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for...